inside the nickel and nickel winery in the tasting room. I think it is more comfortable for you guys. I'm not wearing my This is Shane. He's going to lead us through the tasting today. Welcome to the next episode of Decans with D. Uh, we're right here in Oakville right now. And uh, as the soils change all throughout the valley, the climate also changes. And so the biggest influence here is the San Pablo Bay. You can kind of see the start of the water there at the south end of the valley. As the valley heats up, the hotter it gets, that hot air rises, pulls in that cool air and fog from the uh, San Pablo Bay. This episode brings us back to Napa Valley and specifically to Oakville, the epicenter AVA of Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. I want to talk to you today about one of my favorite Napa Valley Cabernet vineyards, and that is Nickel and Nickel. Nickel Nickel is part now of a family of wines that includes the also world famous Cabernet Farniente. They also make a great Chardonnay, but it also includes the wine brands of En Route, Bella Union, and some others. But I want to focus in on Nickel and Nickel. Why is Nickel and Nickel one of my favorite? Napa Valley Cabernet Vineyards, well, it is established a long, long time ago, back in the 1884 time frame, when John C. Salinger developed his Salinger House, a Queen Anne House style home with charming barns around it. My team and I visited last April there's a video out there on YouTube, Napa Wine Trips or the best wineries in Napa. Take a look at that trip if you didn't already watch that video. We just arrived at Nickel and Nickel Winery in Oakville. It's a beautiful horse ranch. Incredible. Over there is the Opus One Winery, the joint venture between Robert Mondavi and Baron Philip de Rothschild. And here's my team, already starting with the first flight of white wines. But I now want to deep dive into this 1884 established estate. And the first of the fabulous Cabernets is, of course, the John C. Salinger Nickel Nickel Cabernet. Nicka Nicka is famous for doing single vineyard cabernets. That means they're taking the production of those cabernet grapes from one particular vineyard. In the meantime, as Nicka Nicka grew, they now have over a dozen vineyards all over Napa Valley, from down in the South Oaknall district to all the way up in Calistoga. And of course, the Salinger Vineyard sits right there in the heart where the winery is in Oakville. Yeah, so in, in terms of numbers, there are I some have that we tasted the Hain Vineyard before, vineyard second to the left, yeah. and the State Ranch in the middle. I have so not had any of these to, other ones, um, but this morning we will. Right and then, of course, the standard the bearer uh, is the John C. Salinger Vineyard. And I would like to introduce some of these famous names. I'm sure if you have gone to your local wine store and looked at some of those nickel nickel bottles, you may have gotten confused. Or if you're going to Total Wine, they typically, in every Total Wine store, carry six, seven, or eight of those a dozen or more single vineyard nickel and nickels. So names that you may have heard other than Salinger is State Ranch, Knifik Ranch, CC Ranch, Dicali, Quicksilver, Hain, Airshow, Vaca Vista, Branding Iron, Query, Dogleg, Dragonfly, and a few others. 
And I want to introduce to you today not the John C. Salinger vineyard, the standard bearer of nickel nickel. I want to show you two other ones. The first one I'm covering today, CC Ranch, a more popular nickel nickel cabernet from the Rutherford AVA. And then thereafter, we're going to take a look at the Vaca Vista Cabernet, also a favorite of mine. And the Vaca Vista from Nickel Nickel comes from the Oaknall district, which is in the very south of Napa Valley, where it's a lot cooler than in Rutherford or in Oakville. And by the way, this show is filmed on a trip to Dallas, Texas. And therefore you see some different backgrounds around here. Nickel Nickel CC Ranch. The color, dark ruby red, it's a deep color, very, very slightly see-through. It's a ruby red, but almost a hint towards purple. Good looking Cabernet, let's give it a sniffy sniff. Black fruits aroma right out of the gate. Some uh, plum. A little bit of um, raspberry in the nose as well. Aromas of spice. I detect a little bit in the background of vanilla from the oak aging process. Let's give it a whirl. A nice combination of black fruit and red fruit. Some cherry in here, raspberry for sure, a little bit of plum, some black currant. In addition, we have a soft tannins. I would say the CC Ranch is probably best to open up after 2021, in 2022 onwards for another 10 years. A little bit of spice, interesting spice. The tannins are soft uh, and the vanilla is certainly evolving as um, the wine develops. This is rated 90 points by Wine Spectator Vivino 4.4. I give it a 4.2. And by the way, Nickel Nickel Wines, typically the vineyard sells them for $115 to $125. Depending on which big ball retailer you go to, like a Total Wine, you can get it easily in some places at $99 or $100. Let's go to contestant number two, the Vaca Vista. This is a well-drained valley floor cabernet. The background is the Vaca Mountains. No cork all present. The cork all is off this weekend. Let's give the Vaca Vista a chance. The color clearly darker than at the CC Ranch. This is not see-through. It's a beautiful dark ruby red color. Let's give it a siffy sniff. Blackberry, black currant, a little bit of blueberry in here. Beautiful fruits, detecting some plum as well. Let's give it a whirl. Has a little bit of a soft tannins bite, elegant tannins bite. Quite a dry wine. Again, I believe 2018 too early to open right now. You should probably open the 2018 in 2022. 
but good black currant, blueberry, black fruits overall in here. A little bit of plum. It is uh, overall rounder and has more potential for me than the CC range. So this is a Vivino 4.5 rated, 92 on Wine Spectator. I give this one a 4.4. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the show from Texas today. In this dual competition, I give a leg up to the Vaca Vista, Nickel and Nickel. But generally speaking, I can only encourage you, check out the more than a dozen beautiful single vineyard cabinets from Nickel and Nickel. And if you like this show, please subscribe to my channel. And I will be back next Sunday. See you then.